Mr. Oleg Valentinovich, uh, I would like to start with, uh, uh, first of all, uh, words uh, of my gratitude and uh, warm regards that uh, we have an uh, honorable guest here uh, who came specially to see this uh, documentary. And uh, it's very important uh, during this uh, hard and challenging time uh, to know true and, tr and to know reality. And first of all, from our International Diplomatic Club, we request uh, His Excellency, Mr. General Bakshi, who is a famous uh, public figure. He's a general right now, he's a researcher, and uh, he's a social and spiritual leader. And uh, he uh, wrote a lot of interesting books. And the last book about uh, Russian-Ukrainian war, actually for uh, our government, is not war, it's a special operation. But we understand that uh, war between civilization, eastern and western part of the uh, war. And uh, especially thank you so much, your teams, that you came like an honorable guest today. And I know that you want to give your book which is a uh, completely mirror of reality, uh, who is uh, most beneficial from this war or from this conflict of civilization. And uh, that uh, you especially always in all your uh, public speeches and uh, in media programs uh, again and again confirm that uh, Russia is an opportunity, is Russia is the hope of the, of the future of civilization. Please kindly give your uh, book uh, to His Excellency, Mr. Oleg Valentinovich. Thank you. Mr. General Bakshi, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for having us over here. Uh, I just like to preface this by saying that uh, in the Indian Military Academy, mine is the batch of 1971. We were commissioned just one month before the Bangladesh war and thrown straight into action. We have seen how much our Russian friends stood by us then. You know, China was against us. President Nixon had sent the Seventh Fleet. And that is the time our Russian friends stood by us like a rock. And we are extremely grateful. Because of your help, in about 13 days, we had captured Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. 93,000 prisoners of war had surrendered. And uh, I can personally vouch that whatever weapon system we needed then, T-54, T-55 tanks, MiG-21 aircraft, Su-7s, whatever, it was sent to us, you know, like that. And it was largely because of that we won that conflict. In sheer terms of intensity, there has been nothing like it since World War I, World War II, the Great Patriotic War. Mm -hmm. uh, we were very, uh, when the initially this war had started, mm -hmm. uh, we had carried out an analysis. I am editor of the Indian Military Review. Uh, and we felt that uh, Russia should be able to do it in 10, maximum two weeks, mm -hmm. if Russia followed the traditional methods. Uh, I am glad to see now Russia is coming back to its traditional methods of fighting, as we saw in the Great Patriotic War, mass artillery as the god of war. And uh, now we are seeing my uh, reading as a military professional is that come June, when the campaign season starts, when the ground hardens, the mud is uh, firm, and then the tank maneuvers can take place off the axis. I think end game should come because last year in September, the Russian forces mobilized 300,000 reservists and of course you are getting the new conscripts and with this we hope to see end game, right? And India has done a lot. India and China between them, we are buying all the oil which the, uh, you know, the, the Americans and the Europeans were trying to block, right? India has increased its uh, import of Russian oil and that is primarily to help you beyond the sanctions. And uh, <clears throat> we feel that the primary aim in this war was not just military and kinetic. The Americans wanted an excuse to impose sanctions. Therefore, they almost push Russia to fight, right? And uh, they thought that they would destroy the Russian economy. 
At a point in time, the price of the ruble fell from 80 rubles to a dollar to 160 rubles to a dollar. But then we found that the Russians took a series of very energetic measures and the ruble became the best performing currency against the dollar. Sometimes back it was 60 rubles to a dollar. No other currency was doing as well. And because Russia asked for payment of all oil and gas in ruble terms, the, they were able to defeat the, the Western sanctions. The European countries were talking, the Americans were talking of regime change in Moscow. Your Excellency, <coughs> this is the book on the Russia-Ukraine war, Lessons Learned. Your book. Yes. This is my book. Yes. And the 70th. Photographer, photographer, photographer. Yes. 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 Yes.